Well, tensions remain high tonight with North Korea, which tried and failed to launch a ballistic missile last weekend. There's been a lot of speculation over whether they can strike the United States, the mainland U.S., with a nuclear weapon. But even if they can't, what would war with the Kim's fortress state look like? One man who has thought a lot about this is George Friedman. He's founder of Geopolitical Futures, and he joins us now. George, thank you for coming on. That's right. So what are our options? The White House has said we're not going to put up with any more nuclear testing, ballistic missile testing. North Korea said we're going to continue doing both. Where do we go from here? Well, we first have to look at what we know. And the problem is we don't know if they have nuclear weapons that are operational at this point. Huh. But we have to assume the worst. So we have to think about taking up out uh, the nuclear uh, facilities they have. Now, does intelligence know where they are? Do they know how well constructed they are, whether they can be penetrated? I suspect they do. But the big problem is this. A huge concentration of artillery on the DMZ in the North, in Northeast area uh, that has Seoul in range. Seoul is the capital of Korea, of South Korea. It is a city of 10 million people. And if they open fire on that city, there is going to be a holocaust. Therefore, it's not enough to bomb uh, nuclear facilities. Right. We have to take out the artillery. And that's not going to be an easy job. That's not going to be a one-day strike. It's so much, so much scattered around that it's going to be strategic bombers attacking day after day to take those out. And in the meantime, they'll be firing a soul. Oh, for sure. And they spent 65 years putting this stuff in place with an attack like that in mind. So that seems tough. So meanwhile, as these tensions rise, China, which plays an integral role in the Korea, in the Korean Peninsula on both, are they using this to their advantage, these tensions? For a very long time, I've seen them facing demands from the United States, from all administrations, for shifts in their trade policy, for shifts in uh, currency. What has constantly happened is that sometime in that negotiation the North Koreans do something insane. We feel we have to respond. We immediately run to the Chinese and say, Chinese, help us out. They do. The North Koreans calm down. We go back to the negotiation. They say, hey, guys, we just helped you out. I mean, now you're going to push us in trade? Right. The interesting thing about Donald Trump is he admitted that this is the game. This is a game that's been being played for many years, but he said, I'll trade trade for North Korea. Huh. So by admitting and telling the rest of the world that the Chinese are, in fact, playing a game designed to increase their trade advantage, is that, was that helpful to us? Well, it has this much help. It takes the obvious and makes it believable. This has been going on for a long time. It's been going on in the Obama administration. It went on the Bush administration. Uh, now the president has simply said, this is the game that the Chinese are playing. Right. It sets up his future move, however. He says, we've been blackmailed the last time on North Korea. Let's get back to trade. But he's made it clear that if they help this time, he's going to cut a better deal. I've never seen a politician do this. In the open, simply admit what the game is. Interesting. I mean, it's got to be an advantage over the way it's been played previously. So would you rate North Korea the greatest nuclear threat to the United States, or is there a scarier one? At this moment, it's the greatest one. It's the greatest one because we're not certain. We know that it has the ability to build nuclear weapons. Can it miniaturize them? Can it make them rugged enough to be launched off by a missile? Are the missiles reliable enough? That doesn't seem to be the case. But I can say that easily because I have no responsibility. Right. The president has to make the call. How much of a chance is he willing to take and figure out just what the price is going to be? This is... The most dangerous one, I suspect, was it's going to be the hardest one to eliminate. Do you think, finally, that the North, North Korean government is predictable and rational in its evil way? It has been perfectly predictable. It wants to appear to be weak so that nobody bothers it, crazy so nobody pokes at it because who knows what they'll do, Yes. and ferocious, capable of destroying the world. Right. And even though they are a country that is insignificant by most measures. They have managed to maneuver the Japanese, the South Koreans, the Chinese, the Russians, and the Americans into treating them as an equal. And that is a brilliant move, and they have done that over the years, and you don't have to like them to respect them. They are good at this. Yeah. No, it's a prison move. Someone hassles you, you bite his nose off, they never bother you again. Have you seen that before, George? Thank you for joining us. That was really interesting. Pleasure having you.